All right, you guys, I have a special treat for you today because I have the guys from GoatFormat.com as well as the Goat Weebly. And this is huge, huge news because they are going to be the Goat Weebly, right? Yep. That's what I said. That's what I just said. Why did you laugh then? Yep. I've been fucking this up and you laughed when I got it right? I think he's pleased. I don't know. I didn't hear him laugh. <laughs> Oh my god, whatever. Go I heard that. something, but okay, okay. that wasn't me. Okay. I thought I heard a sneeze. Either my way. My dog sneezed. Oh my <laughs> god, your dog! Screw your dog. Okay, you know what? I'm keeping this in because that's hilarious that your dog screwed us up. <laughs> Alright, anyways, guys, I have a Scully and Spooky here. Um, um, they're from the, the Goat Format Weebly and GoatFormat.com, respectively. Um, why this is huge news, why, you know, why I have them on here is because not only have I started the Men Who Stare at Goat series, and I'm trying to do it right for you guys. I'm trying to, you know, only contribute good things, um, you know, get rid of that Xerion, all that stuff. But <laughs> um, I have these guys on here because they're going to be combining their websites together. Um, which is great news because we, we want, um, I mean, I, I think you guys have the same goals that I do. Just have a really good uh, base Yu-Gi-Oh format that anybody can play, anybody can pick up, anybody can learn, uh, master, play for however long they want to play it because it's not going anywhere. Right. Sure. One of the reasons we plan to even work together is because we had such similar goals lined up of we both just want to expand goat format have one place where everyone can go to see this is the goat format card pool this is the goat format ban list this is the goat format tier list this is everything you need about go need to know about goat format all in one place i've been going to you guys the sites for a long time um, it's actually uh, goatformat.com so i figured out that uh, tiger stun was a deck i was like wait so people are doing what i thought oh that's cool other people think like me all right <laughs> like yeah. stuff like that like um I, I can't oh yeah that. tiger stun for sure is one of them or it's like oh this deck just hard counters yeah, and it's it's the next control. logical step, you know, uh, you know, next to a uh, beast down because you know beast down was kind of like Xerion goats build that would just kind of beat goats just by I don't know out, out brutalizing it really, but then um, you know Wang Hu with cards like Wang Hu and uh, Kaiku and all that you can control it better. Um, I don't know. It's 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 a more technical build and then like light of intervention. They main like light of intervention, so you can't send yeah, anything. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, and I mean, yep. it, it it totally works. It's just like. And that that whole reaction that you had of like oh i guess this is actually a deck that's something that i was thinking about when i created my website was my website was more or less what's every single like goat format deck that i can find or come up with anywhere and just throw some pages together with as much information as i can so that people could come in and have that same reaction time and time again of oh this is a deck or oh this is a deck and obviously they're not all as competitive as tiger stun but being able to to have that epiphany or just have that moment is something that I wanted people to be able to have. Oh, absolutely! And like just the other day, um, me and Brady, uh, Brady's uh, my camera guy. Um, his his favorite card of all time is Last Warrior from Another Planet, and we know how good that card is. Just you know, in general, because you can't summon <laughs> anything. But it's really easy to make in goats, of course. You know, because metamorphosis, because <laughs> of, you know different cards. Uh, your dog again, dude. <laughs> 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 but um, we, we actually created a turbo build uh, for Last Warrior from another planet. And it makes it like with yeah. the fusion gate being goats and stuff, it actually makes Last Warrior first turn every time, just about. And, yo, yo, yo. And I've seen similar builds. Yeah, it, it, it totally works. There's like so, so many different, uh, you know, ways to go about goat format. And that's why I was really happy to see that you uh, jumped on board of the no Exerion and goat format. Oh because yeah. it opens up the format. Okay. So much, it's yeah. ridiculous. Without Exerion, it is ten times funner. It really is funner. Um, I had never. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Like before, um, uh, playtesting for that tournament that was coming up, I hadn't played um, goats to nearly. I, I just I hadn't played goats all that much. Like I played goats on and off at different tournaments and different small things throughout the years, and played just with my friends and stuff throughout the years. But I had never sat down and just played consecutively that much to notice how broken Xerion was, if that makes it sense. Xerion uh, just becomes stale is the best way I could describe yeah, it. Yeah. It's like every game kind of starts to feel more like the last game when you play yeah, with Xerion. Yes. Um, and I've, I've heard the, the, the phrase, um, keeping the Xerion keeps the players honest. It keeps get, standard goats honest. I've heard that phrase throughout the years and it, it, it does, but it also makes standard goats almost like completely irrelevant. Yeah, I mean, there's other cards that keep goat control honest that don't completely destroy the format like it did. Yeah, exactly. Right. The argument that you're saying for keeping it honest is I can see that as well. If you want to just play straight up mirror matches of 
Barovic Exerion mirrors. Like, there's some entertainment out there of like it's almost like a chess game kind of. Oh, absolutely. But goats is but just as, a chess game. As without far that. as as far as playing the game more and getting deeper into it and like playing it as a format and not just a mirror match, without Exerion is the way to go. Yeah. But goats is is a poker game or a chess match period amongst good players, and that's what I've learned. The playing goats throughout the years is that if you're playing against somebody good who has built their deck well, unless you just have a bad matchup against that deck, like I don't know, Gravekeeper Chaos matchup, or you know what I mean, like because Necro Valley just you get it. Um, yep. Unless it's something like that. Um, for the most part, it's it, it, you're gonna go to game five every time, every time, and. Um, it's, it's going to come down to, to the player, and it's not going to come down to the deck as much. That's what I've noticed with Goats, because it, it, well, it comes down to the deck, but when once again, when we're talking about the high tier that we're talking about right now, we're talking about both players only playing what's objectively good anyways. So it, the deck matters less, the player matters more. Yeah, yeah you I bring mean, up game five. Um, something that we've advocated for the GoFormat.com communities, though, is to not play best three out of five, is to actually just play game set of matches. Because when you're building your deck, you're not building it for being inside deck for three out of five games. So it makes more sense to do um, pick how many matches you want to play through instead of actually switching the format to uh, best out of five. Ah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I see what, I see what you mean there. Because when you build your deck for a tournament, you're building it for game one is game one, and then you're playing the next two out of three with a side, post sideboard. But to play it more post sideboard than that actually gives different advantages than you would have if you were playing in a tournament. Yeah, very true. That's the thing with Go Format compared to regular Yu-Gi-Oh, I think, is that like we've been thinking about these kind of things for a lot longer of a time since we've had <laughs> own... Well, here's the difference, though. Regular Yu-Gi-Oh is still Konami-based, so it's just whatever they say goes. We've been able to look at this from a community-based since yeah. mm -hmm. like 2011 of trying to figure out what's the best, most fair things to do for Go Format. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Yeah, I mean, this is very much a format that's been built by the community. And so it has that, like, it just has that going for it. Is like the community built it, the community is ready to play it, and it, it's, it serves them as much as they serve it. Yes. Um, and it's also great, like, that everybody who I meet that plays goats is always super friendly. It's, it's way more casual, even like good goat players that I have met at different, you know, regionals and stuff throughout the years are still way cooler to approach and talk to than like, I don't know, like your average, I guess, uh, competitive player these days, I guess you could say. Well, yeah. I mean, this is like a niche format inside of a niche card game. Like, it doesn't make sense for the community to be very off-putting or to be very aggressive towards In my people. opinion, it doesn't make any sense in the first place, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> very true. <laughs> the thing with being community-run, too, is like, you're able to play a GOAT format deck if you want to use a, like, Three thousand dollar goat format deck, or you could build a goat format deck for like forty dollars. The whole entire deck, yeah, we're able to. Since we're not a crystal, we're able to do stuff like use OCG cards, like use your hobby league cards. Like it being community based yeah. does have its advantages. And it is nice being able to play your hobbies because people these days are like, no, you can't play hobbies. They're too thick. You can stack them. And I'm like, yes, because I'm totally stacking my deck because I care that much. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, Like it's any easier to stack a hobby league than an ultimate rare. It's, it's just a ridiculous argument in the first place. Whatever. Like, yeah, look, in my opinion, if, if somebody has like gone through that much effort to figure out how to precisely shuffle their deck to get the cards that they want on top every time, just give them the wins. They've got they've got a lot of time on their hands to figure that out just give them the win <laughs> i remember seeing a judge in like 2007 take someone's deck and like cut it multiple times and be like look i got to your hobby league saying it each time by yeah. cutting it and then like, just being like wow how the heck did you do that <laughs> that's really good and then end up getting banned <laughs> well, yeah i mean coming from uh, I'm a big Magic the Gathering player coming from the Magic community. Like there, I've seen quite a few ways that people can stack decks and so. Yeah. So I guess Scully wanted to talk about like history, history of his website. So that's something we can jump into if you wanted to. Yeah. No. Go ahead. Um. You know. Um. Ahead. I think I touched on somewhat. I'm not sure how many with how many cuts we've had so far. So the oh, main dude, the main reason I <laughs> the main reason <laughs> the main reason I made GoFormat.com in the first place was to just have a place where all the all the information of GoFormat was just so spread out. Whether it was on Duelist Grounds, YouTube, Yu-Gi-Oh Deck Pro, 
meta game, name a website. Yeah. All the all and the go format again, stuff. I want to clarify. There was just no easy place to get to it. Right. And it, it, once again, I want to clarify. Like, it, it, seriously, guys, I I thought that Exerion was goats for the majority of the time of playing go format. I thought it was goats. I just I just did because in once again the Perovic standard list plays Exerion and, and and you know it's it's just it adds to the confusion even more. And so, like, having this clarification and having you guys work together and then honestly, like, having me just be like, okay, Xerion's not Ghost. <laughs> I, yeah, feel like it, I feel like the it other big, <laughs> The other big thing was Dueling Book um, not putting Xerion in the card pool. They yes, talked, they talked yeah. with us about it. They talked with um, some other websites about it, and they came to the conclusion. We showed the research. Xerion was legal for maybe two weeks before Cybernetic Revolution came out, and there was maybe one regional at that point. And that's only proven by this like confusing Pojo post from 2005. So <laughs> in general, it was never legal for any major tournament. The last Shonen Jump in 2005 was in Boston. Cybernetic Revolution was legal. Every major tournament before that, Cybernetic Revolution was not legal. Exarion was not legal. So it it's pretty clear cut that Exarion was not legal. What happened was a Duelist Ground post was made and I think probably around like 2000, like, 11 2012 and they're like oh what is the best goat format deck and then people started posting about it Perovic showed his Xerion list which was the edited version of his shonen jump boston list of what he would have changed the deck to mm. if he was to go back in time and then that just took off to Xerion being legal we didn't realize at the time how overpowered Xerion was people were like well why would i play this over kaiku anyway no one really the format wasn't developed at that point. It was just looking back at 2005, yeah. which was like nine years before that or not more. So we're like, oh yeah, we would just play Kaiku anyway. What does it even matter? Well, not taking into effect or that... Or generating Xerion... money for Duo or anything else in the other eight. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah. Xerion deals damage through goats, making goats worse. It doesn't die to Tsukiyomi. It doesn't die to Air Knight in defense. It just shuts down the goat control deck itself and really streamlines the format. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it makes makes it to where beast variants, aggro variants are so good that goats is not a deck. It's seriously not a deck. It is beast aggro variants and chaos. That is your yeah. format. And, the, and then like your good, good standard goat decks like piloted by good players. And it just gets boring. Yep. Yeah. I mean, uh, monarchs are still good. I mean, there's there's other you know obviously like it depends on the player the deck whatever you know because monarchs that could be a bricky deck what you know you know you see what i'm saying it's a powerful deck but it's a bricky deck the thing is there's other decks in the format guys um and there's always going to be other decks in the format because it's goats it's, it's there's a lot of variety in goats there's a lot of powerful cards in goats there's a lot of decks to be made there's a lot of you know staple cards that every deck plays therefore there's a lot of decks that, that can be made just around those cards yeah and i mean that's where my website came in for the most part when I was building my website, it was almost like a quality, or I'm sorry, a quantity over quality type thing. Not to say that I didn't try to make it quality, but what decks can I find literally anywhere? I'm, I mean, I was scouring like old Pojo forum posts from 2005, like just yeah, finding decks. Like Arm Dragon decks and stuff just to find yeah, like some Yeah, exactly. Old stuff. Yeah, yeah. I know and what you mean. So like, Scully with GoatFormat.com, he very much had this focus of these are the competitive lists and, and these are how they work and why people play them. And my website was more of like, here's everything that I can find. And so talking about like combining our websites or moving everything I have onto the like a GoatFormat.com, it's, it's the idea that we want everything about goat format to be in one place and that includes all of the casual decks all the crazy decks all whatever and so that's why we're doing this right and some stuff to look forward to um that we do plan to do on the website soon is to start a tournament locator for local tournaments so that throughout the country yes. you can come to goatformat.com and find out where your local goat format tournament is so if anyone wants to leave comments in any of these videos or send messages on goatformat.com or join our discord and message us about your goat format local we would be more than happy to get them on our website to get goat format going more across the country yes. yeah and if you want to play that ridiculous arm dragon deck now you know where you can <laughs> yeah i mean it, it, um no, that's that's really that's awesome that you guys are doing that. And that's one I wanted to add is a retro expert. Um, he's a guy in our like goat uh, Discord server, uh, you know, that we got going on. Um, 
but uh, he has a lot of decks for goat format like a lot yeah, of what you're talking yeah. about just like he, he doesn't he doesn't like try to make them he does he obviously isn't trying to make them as competitive and as good as they could be but if you watch his deck profiles in his videos like the basic ideas for the decks are all there and i feel like that's what you were doing with the weebly is like oh for sure like yeah. a lot of the decks that he's put up on his channel um he, you, you'll see he's pulled a lot of those from my original google doc that i turned into the weebly mm, gotcha. I, I mean He's got a ton of his own ideas and a course, lot of stuff course, that like yeah. I really could did not think of or am interested in even trying. But a lot of the decks that he's brought up, um, he's even said he took straight from my stuff too. And the main thing being you just see these decks that could give you idea of all the different stuff that you could build and go oh, format. Yeah. yeah. Um, there, there's there's tons of variety uh, in, in go format and it's, it's like it's, it's seriously the greatest of all time format like I'm, I'm glad <laughs> that you no know, it, it is and it's it, it encompasses you know like I said uh, in, in the at the end of the um, the first um the menu stare goats video it is the original Yu-Gi-Oh show format and it also encompasses the beginning of GX so um, it's it's that kind of it's it's this perfect time it's this perfect snapshot in Yu-Gi-Oh history of like just the best monsters that we all know as well as like it's, it's not only all of that and it's not only all of that nostalgia but if you just like if you play the format enough and you guys I mean you both I know have played just as much probably way more than I have um actually I know you like one of you at least has played way 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 more than I have <laughs> but um it's a format that the cards are so balanced everything seems to fit together in a certain way and it's just way more fair like you I couldn't word it any better than balance it's like you look at this format and a lot of players will look at it and be like delico and duo pot agreed graceful charity how can these all be legal this must be the most like luck sack format in the world no but those three cards along with sinister serpent balance each other out to a degree where it's just like a perfect ecosystem of playing back and forth waiting to get to your power cards waiting for the right moment to strike for game it's just, it's very gratifying yes um it's it's not just those cards guys but like um playing techie choices makes a huge difference too um playing playing the right cards at the right time like for example this is a card i don't even want to give away but blindly loyal goblin guys mm -hmm. fantastic oh, yeah. card in goat format 1800 attack cannot be suit rota searchable cannot be sucked up by thousand eyes they're, they're, what I'm getting at No here. snatch steal, no creature swap. Yes. It is just a solid sit on the field monster. Yep, yep, <laughs> it, 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 card severely overlooked. I haven't seen anybody play it. I don't even want to talk about it right now. These guys <laughs> already know about it, though, because we're on the same page because we played for a long time. Yep, I've point, seen guys. it played in some really crazy like Warrior Toolbox decks. It's the kind of Warrior Toolbox decks where they're literally like one of everything that I might be able to use in any situation. Yeah. I've you seen it played up? in those. You summon a monster next to it, like Element Soldier, who uh, whenever you have an Earth yeah. out next to it, if it destroys a monster by battle, it negates the effect with 1500 attack, four star. Yep. So now you have a monster like Blind Little Goblin sitting on the board no, and put a monster with a Hadaz effect that you could just normal summon next to it. There's a lot of cool stuff that has not been deeply explored in GOAT format. So. Sure. Dude, check yeah. this out. Blindly Loyal Goblin against Monarchs. Brain control's dead. Snatch steals yep. dead. Like they, they just cry. They can't. Su they can't suck up your monster to tribute mm -hmm. it. <laughs> They're begging for their soul exchange. Yes. And you know that's one of the reasons why I like, or it, it, a lot of people seem to like the format. Is it's it, it's got multiple things going for it. We're talking about how you have the Holy Trinity plus Sinister Serpent creating this incredibly skill-based, balanced format, and a lot of people come to the format because they see it as the most skill-intensive format in the game's history. And I would tend to agree with them, but there's also people coming to this format because they were around when it was an actual thing and there's nostalgia. this nostalgia value to it. And so different people can come to this format for different reasons. And if you come to the format for one reason, you might stick to it because of the other reason. Right. Um, you, you might you might be like, hey, um, I, I played, um, I don't know, I played Gravekeeper, you know, back when... when um, Go format was around and then you play the format a lot and then you realize that you know you really like to play the format and you you might even realize else. well i liked great keepers back then but i didn't realize that there was this many more ways to optimize it after yeah, people oh, looking yeah, at the yeah. format for 15 yes 
Yeah, I mean, back in the day, uh, every major tournament I went to, every regionals, whatever, like I was doing really well with burn. And I look back at the burn deck that I was using that I thought was so optimized. And I mean, Shane's burn deck puts that list to oh complete gosh, shame. I've seen like some nasty burn decks for goats. Like burn yeah. is like under it's underrated for goats for sure. Yeah. Fifteen years later, you realize skill drain at three is a real threat. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like Shane's burn deck completely Gravity flipped nine. like everything on its side for me as far as everything I thought I knew about burn and Shane in general. Like that guy, he's pretty good at just coming up with crazy things and just changing the format. I've no. Yeah, we talked about the the uh, the uh, spirit deck that was also from Shane as well, but oh. definitely a, a deck innovator. He's made things like the skill drain burn deck for a goat format and uh, spirit the aggro decks. burn deck, um, aggro burn deck. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, are you guys uh, with the with the you know merger of this website? Are you guys planning on um, I don't know having any. Um, are you guys planning on documenting, I guess, like, you know, players like Shane or players like anybody who has the... Uh, oh, for sure. Yeah. Scully, you can take this one, but we've definitely been talking about... Oh, yeah. So we have art articles featured on our website for, um, like, decks that we've made. With, if you could check out, you can check out the Spirit deck on um, GoatFormat.com. It's under the name Serenity from our last uh, Goat Format Championship 2. You could see stuff like that. Um, websites like, if you want to go years back, um, Format Library... FormatLibrary.com has stuff on um, like Shane's burn deck. It's just he's just one example of like innovative decks that uh, innovative players making innovative decks in the last few years of goat format. Yeah. It's just the, the format is not solved. That was one thing with Exerion is it's kind of been decided that Exerion format is solved. So the fact that we've moved on away from Exerion, which has been the last almost four or five years now, and we've come nowhere close to solving the format. Yeah, and even just talking about, like, specifically, like, we can bring up a player like Shane and talk about the things that he's done for the format. Uh, being able to have this website where we, we could write an article about any given player that we think is really impacting the format in whatever way, uh, that's just another thing that this website can bring to the table. Um, th like throwing stuff out there for like player of the year and things like that. Yes. Th those are all possibilities. Um, and just just having just all of this centralized. Period. Just yeah, uh, is great. That, that's my point. That's why I wanted to have you guys all, both on. Just um, I'm not only showing uh, what decks are topping. I mean, uh, go from out Italia. We, we you know we're in the group with uh, with those guys. Um, they do great. Um, go community Italia. And sorry, not go format Italia. Go community Italia. Um, those guys from Italy, they they do great. They have goat tournaments all the time. Um, Goatformat.com. Big ones. Yeah, yeah big biggest fan. tournaments in the world, really. Yep, yeah, Goatformat.com. You guys do uh, live streams. You guys do tournaments and stuff. I've seen you guys' as online tournaments, you know, like pop up on my YouTube feed because, you know, I'm subscribed to you guys. Uh, but, yeah, you know, the, the, doing those tournaments, keeping the format alive, um, including all of that, having, like, a blog, uh, talking, you know, having um, – Articles, you guys even I've, I've even watched some of you guys' videos on GoFormat.com, the uh, you know you guys' YouTube channel, um, and like discussions about solemn judgment and stuff. And there's some stuff there that holds up that you know even playing, you know, been picking up the format again. I don't even know, however long after you guys made that video, it's just like yeah, the, the, my findings are coherent with this. <laughs> you know, like the format doesn't change. It's like universal. It's universal in like a really great way. And I think that people need to kind of pick that up and having. Um, you know, that's the, once again, I want, that's why I wanted to have you guys on just having it centralized for everybody, having just a goatformat.com be, you know, have, um, a one place, a one-stop shop for everything goats is just fantastic. I think in my, in, you know, in my opinion, yeah. you know, I want to do the men who stare at goat series to be the goat series. That's why I want like the best goat websites, the best, I don't know, goat players, you know, or just whatever i, yeah. I want to make the best goat series there is because of me and my camera guy i'm getting him into Yu-Gi-Oh, right you know and i taught him 2002 format and then i'm teaching you know now he's really good at goats we've been playing goats for a while it's why part of the reason why i've been playing so much goats lately um mm -hmm. you know i get him in the format and then we're looking you know we're looking at all these builds and we're watching i mean i love retro expert and stuff but we're hitting this point where we're like we're realizing that there's we can define like the goat content on youtube because there's not a whole lot of good goat content like cali effects got some cool duels i guess but they're not top players they're just okay duels you know what i mean go format italia's got some like some of the best duels i've seen a goat community i keep seeing goat format Goat community yeah. italia's got some of the best online duels that i've seen besides goformat.com and stuff 
Um, but for the most part, you, you get it. That's like like retro expert. Like you know, like I said, he does like really great stuff. But like he doesn't optimize his builds. You can, you can go to his to his channel and find tons and tons of different ideas for for decks. But they aren't going to be your top tier competitive as great as they can be. And it, and it's obvious. And he's and, and that's fine. You know, he's not going for that by any means. Um, it's just the ideas. It's just the ideas that are there. Yeah. Well, for sure. And that's why, like, I was excited about this whole Discord community that popped up is we have all these different content creators, um, like me and Scully and you, and we can kind of collaborate and end up creating something like what you're trying yes. to do right now. Yeah, I want, I want, like, just a format like i mean dude my goals are the same as you guys is you know it's just like i said you know towards the beginning of the you know this filming session right here i think we all want a format that is easily accessible to everybody that anybody can pick up play learn and master it, um it, it something something that we're going to be doing that might be cool to put into one of your videos or even add on to this next one once we're done is uh next month for the 15 year anniversary we're, we're going to do the goat format hall of fame on the website and we're going to do the initial member as um, Max Suffrage, who died last year, mm -hmm. falling off a cliff, who won the 2005 Nationals. Oh, wow. That's cool. So, that, that's cool. Though. So we're going to initiate him as the uh, first ever GOAT Format Hall of Fame member. Oh, wow. That's 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 incredible. That's really cool. Um, no, I like to see that's something that where I fail as a GOAT player is to keep up with um, the accomplishments of people that, you know, before me, like everybody remembers, you know, everybody knows Chris Barovic, but who knows the rest of these guys? Yeah, uh, like Max Suffrage, like he won Nationals that year and he was on my player at the time, too. Wow. Well, rest in peace. Yeah. Um, we, we need... We need we need all the goat players we can get. We don't need it. You know, you know we, we don't need any more. Uh, we don't need any more sadness right now. We need we need to keep pick up the hype. Let's, let's get people, yeah. draw people with us. Not talking about Fall, yeah. falling off a cliff. Not the most hype. But, yeah, it's uh, like yeah. It, 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 is, it, it, is, he, it is a, it is a, a respect cliff, thing we're gonna like, do for him next year. Too. <laughs> Well, he, had, and like, he was innovative at the time too. Yeah, he ran mm -hmm. Gravekeeper Spy and yeah, yeah. Guard at Nationals. Like he was so ahead of the curve. Gotcha. Um. No, one card I've been playing lately is Reckless Greed, and that one I have a love-hate relationship with, but I think it's good. I don't know. It's, uh, like, good. <laughs> it's, it's good in the moment, but like if you don't win soon, it's bad. <laughs> yeah, that card always scared the crap out of me. I don't know. It, yeah. The fact that it's limited to one is scary. Right. The fact that it's if it was at least one, at two, well, it'd be like, okay. I'm telling you, dude, if you always chain it, okay, like it's not bad. Like, it, it, if you active, if you have to have to activate it during your turn, you usually get the out because you're drawing two cards, and every card you draw is good in the format. So like, if I activate it on my turn, I better win that turn. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but no, there, there's there's so many good, good cards and like techie cards in the format that we could debate. But like seriously, guys, thank you so 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 much for being on. Thank you so much for. I mean, screw your dog though. Yes, you. I'm talk. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Punk ass bitch, loud ass dog. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, at least you're using she, the word. I mean, she know, chewed up a. Uh, yeah, I am using the word correctly. <laughs> she chewed up a. Uh, what was it? Card that I posted, not last warrior. A. Uh, oh, the the huntress or whatever. Ooh, um, whatever. That, TP two. That stupid hundred dollar rare card she chewed up yesterday. Oh my gosh, dude! I would smack that dog, but not not really <laughs> because they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, like, I couldn't even it's, say it's matter. Like, you don't know. It's, yeah, it's one of those things. Just like I want to beat you, but I can't because you don't know what you did. Like, and you're so adorable. Yeah. Fucking dogs, damn you. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, no, thank you but guys yeah, all it, once again. Yeah, go I for mean, anytime you guys. ever need anything else. Yeah, yeah. Warrior tradition. That's what she chewed up. <laughs> she she pulled a, a Kaiba. She didn't want to play against the card, so she ripped yeah. it up. Yeah, she did. <laughs> Like I ripped up the fourth, the fourth blue eyes. <laughs> I ripped up the one thousandth copy of this tournament pack yeah. two card. Say goodbye to Exodia. <laughs> <laughs> Some shit. <laughs> but um, yeah. Here, let me hit stop record on this. Yeah, thanks. Thank you guys once again. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for letting us come in and talk. Yeah, appreciate it. Subscribe. <laughs>